Much of the great leverage of using computers these days is using them not just for computationally intensive tasks, but using them as a window into communication intensive tasks, as you know. And never have I seen something more powerful than this computation combined with this network uh, technology that we now have. So not only networks throughout an organization, but of course the wide area networks through the internet. And I just want to focus on um, something that's very close to my heart, which is living in a high-speed network world um, to get your job done every day. Now, how many of you manage your own storage on your computers? How many of you back up your computers, as an example? How many of you have had a, a crash in the last, you know, three years, four years? <laughs> right. Okay. Um, let me <clears throat> describe the world I live in. Uh, about eight years ago, we had high-speed networking connected to our now obsolete Next Hardware, running, running uh, Next Step at the time. And because we were using uh, NFS, we were able to take all of our personal data, our home directories we call them, off of our local machines and put them on a server. And the software made that completely transparent. And because the server had a lot of RAM on it, in some cases it was actually faster to get stuff from the server than it was to get stuff off your local hard disk because in some cases it would be cached in the RAM of the server if it was in popular use. But what was really remarkable was that the organization could hire a professional person to back up that server every night and could afford to spend a little bit more on that server so maybe it had redundant disk drives, redundant power supplies. And you know, in the last seven years, you know how many times I have lost any personal data? Zero. Do you know how many times I've backed up my computer? Zero. I have computers at Apple, at Next, at Pixar, and at home. I walk up to any of them and log in as myself. It goes over the network, finds my home directory on the server, and it just is, I'm, I've got my stuff wherever I am. Wherever I am. And none of that is on a local hard disk. Now, what's really interesting to me is that gigabit Ethernet's coming. With gigabit Ethernet, it is faster in every case to talk to the server than it is my local hard disk. And one of the things I'm really excited about is to look at that personal computer and take out every moving part except the keyboard and the mouse. I don't need a hard disk in my computer if I can get to the server faster. See, because I look at that network connection as NFS dial tone. I get internet dial tone and NFS dial tone over that wire. And I don't care how it's done. I don't care what box is at the other end. We happen to use an Auspex at Next, right? Big one. Spent half a million bucks on it. It was worth it. We did a lot of software development. Nobody ever lost anything. Nobody ever worried about that stuff. But you could have smaller ones. But managing a network like this is a pain in the butt. Setting it up, getting it all to work is really complicated. One of my hopes is that Apple can do for this new type of network, it's not so new, but for the average person it's new, with gigabit Ethernet technologies and some of the new server stuff that's coming down the pike and some thin, thinner hardware clients, hardware clients that are thinner, not necessarily software, that Apple could make that as plug and play for mere mortals as it made the user experience over a decade ago. That's, that's one of the things where I think there's a giant hole. And I can't communicate to you how awesome this is unless you use it. And you, what you would decide within a, few, you know, a day or two is that carrying around these non-connected computers or computers with tons of state in them, tons of data and state in them, is Byzantine by comparison.